Okay, let's get started with Flatpak. We're gonna open up our terminal. And from the terminal here, we're gonna start with installing Flatpak as a service. So we'll go sudo dnf install Flatpak, or if you're on Debian based system, apt install Flatpak. Go ahead and say yes, and it will go ahead and install this. Okay, to continue from here, we'll simply go ahead and type Flatpak remotes. This tells us what hubs and things are installed right now. So if we flip through this, you'll see we don't have any repositories really installed. So we'll need to install something. So to add our first remote repository, and we'll go ahead and add flat hub. That's the flat pack uh, repository that is has probably the most applications, but more will probably be added in the future. All right, with flat hub entered here with using the flat pack remote add command, we should have a new version. So now if we go back and do remotes, we'll see that flat hub is now listed in the remote section. Now, if we wanted to remove a remote, we can easily do flat pack remote dash delete flat hub. This would delete our flat hub remote repository. However, we're going to install some applications from it. So we're not going to run that command. So we can continue this by uh, installing certain applications. Now I want to install applications that aren't easily installed by a package manager, such as like Discord would probably be one uh, off offhand. So let's search for Discord. We can do flat pack, search Discord and see what it pulls up. Okay, so it pulled in Discord. It's a chat client. It shows that application ID. It's under the stable branch and it's on flat hub. So we can easily take this information and install it. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do flat pack install flat hub, which is the remote that we're going to use. And then we just need to put our application ID here. The application ID is com discord app and we'll copy and paste this. So we'll hit enter. Do you want to install it? We'll say yes. And we'll go ahead and perform these uh, checks as well. It'll install these dependencies it needs. All right, now that we have our installation complete, we'll go ahead and launch Discord by simply just going to our start menu and it should be already populated in our menu system. So we'll go ahead, type Discord, and it's not here yet. Let's go ahead, log off and log back in. And you'll see it right there in our start menu. So let's go ahead and do the standard updates and everything to Discord and launch right into the actual application. Nice thing about this is it only updates when we want it to update. So let's say we want to update this. We can actually go back into our terminal and just do a flat pack update. This will look for updates and see what we have. Now, if we're unsure what applications are installed, we can do flat plaque list. This lists all everything's installed. Now, if we only want to see the applications, we can go dash dash app, and this will only show the applications installed and not their dependencies. And finally, for the last command in flat pack that I'll teach you today is flat pack history. This just shows everything that's happened in here. So if you want to actually look through your history, you can see what all has been going on in flat pack, uh, as far as the time and date, just kind of like a log of flat pack. It's a good troubleshooting method. There's also repairs and other things in here. So I highly recommend coming into flat pack and just going dash dash help. And you can see all the different commands that, Flatpak has. However, these are the commands I use the most. Uh, now there's other real good ones in here, such as info, um, config, like configuring certain things with Flatpak. However, most of these I don't use really at the end of the day. These are the commands I use on a daily basis. That was Flatpaks in a nutshell. I hope this helps you out, at least on the syntax and just getting around using Flatpaks. It's by far my favorite uh, way to install applications when I get away from my package manager. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you 
in the next one.